Hey everybody, it's Margaret and I'm coming to you today with my weekly sales update video and I'll also, if you hang out at the end of the show, I'll talk about my week, my weekly goals and all that. I normally do that on Sunday but yesterday was not happening so uh, we'll talk about that later and so for now let's talk about the sales for the week. There have not been a lot, I've got to be honest, I think five, six sales this week. So I'll share my eBay and Etsy sales and I'll share my sales on merch by Amazon. And then I will talk about my listings and stuff. Hey Lonnie, Garage Flips and Chantel and Carol. Hello, hello everybody. I didn't share this out so hopefully people will just know to come. Um, hey Clearing Clutter for Clarity, hello, hello. Okay, so let me start with my eBay and Etsy sales. I have started listing again, which is a, a plus. I did 17 or 18 yesterday cross-posted. So what is that in dog years? <laughs> what is that in listing years? <clears throat> okay, <laughs> let me start with my one Etsy sale. Good, good afternoon, Golf Winds and Jane. Hey, Gina, sold sold a seven dollar dress for 70 bucks this morning otherwise ebay's been dry i've been hearing that some but then again some people are doing great right now and other people are like oh it's been so slow so but it's been slow on merch too so and i've heard that from from a few people as well hey purple lily how's it going all right so this brooch sold this is my etsy sale for the week <laughs> this large embroidered butterfly brooch sold for um, $20. Uh, I bought this for, I believe it was $2. It may have been less, but I didn't have it in my spreadsheet. Uh, going forward as I'm listing, I'm getting way better about that. Um, so after shipping and fees, this uh, profited me $17.52. So not too bad. And this is where, you know, in my shop, I have up at the top, because um, on, on Etsy, there's not a best offer feature but I have in my shop description you know I'm always willing to negotiate on a good price so that this person sent me a message we knocked five bucks off it it was listed for $24.99 and we sold it I sold it to her for 20 so that works hey HB picker and oh I'm sure I'm missing people let's see who else hey Bobby Moon's bargains and Andrea hello hello okay let's take a look at the eBay sales now. Let me close that out. And okay, I am getting it ready underneath the thing. Here we go. So eBay sales. Hey, what you selling? All right, I sold this Volvo trucker style cap. I, I shipped off most of my other caps to Chris, but the ones I had listed I kept up. Um, and so this one I picked up for two bucks. I took an offer of $11 on it. What does it say on here? Yeah, I took an offer of 11 bucks, and so my profit was $8.09. Not too bad. This Seen It Harry Potter sold. Again, I'm really pulling back from games unless they're wow. And yes, I did sell a Harry Potter something, <laughs> but I have more than one of these, just uh, so you know. So this um, Harry Potter Seen It, um, I bought for a buck. Uh, it sold for $15.99. And I guess it must have been on sale because no, it was not $19.99. It must have been on sale. And so after shipping and fees, my net was $12.14. And then this vintage wrapping paper sold. You know how I love to sell the wrapping paper. So this was just like this. It was a folded up in the plastic sheet. It had two sheets in there. And it sold for $19.99. So Picked it up for a quarter, sold for $19.99, and so my net on this wrapping paper was $18.43. Yep, that's it. <laughs> okay, and then I had this sale of this vintage Whiting and Davis um, bracelet, and I took a best offer. I've had it up for a while. I took a best offer of $17. Bucks. I know it was a bit of a drop from my original price, but it was missing some of the little pearls, and I knew that, and I was just kind of like shooting for the moon because of the brand name. So I was okay with taking the best offer there. So my net was $14.74 on that one. This was one of those cases where I took the best offer, and then the person didn't pay. And then they didn't pay. So like, I don't send emails or anything, but I'll just send like an invoice, and they didn't pay, and then I'm 
send another invoice. And then after that, I just opened an unpaid item and then they paid. So I, that always makes me nervous because I'm always worried like, oh, you know, are we going to have a problem when they get it and return it, whatever. I mean, but they, this was a buyer that had a lot of, you know, transactions and feedback and it was, I don't know, maybe it just slipped their mind. I don't know. We'll see. So uh, those were my sales. I did sell something from a whole video to a, a, a watcher, um, some owl earrings from a jewelry jar. So those went out for 15 bucks. So let's see what my profit on those <laughs> items were. And like I say, I have started listing again. So that's good. I have a bunch of things that are um, already photographed. So, meh, like 85 bucks, which is not a lot at all. My goal is 200, 250 for the week for eBay and Etsy. Um, but then my merch sales, let me share with you my spreadsheet so you can see my merch sales for this. Oh, hey, Henry. I know some more people jumped in. I probably missed you. So, here we go. Merch sales from the 13th to the 19th. It's been slow on merch as well. So two or three shirts a day, you know, generally. So my my profit on merch for the last week was 128.07. This doesn't come out until let's see. The payment just got deposited today. What is it, March? For February sales. So the March sales get deposited in April. It's like a month behind. So I did get my deposit today for February and it was like 770 bucks or something like that. So yeah, clearing clutter for clarity says still waiting for my first merch sale. It'll happen. It'll happen. Don't lose hope. Um, Bobby Moon says hit the like button people. That's right. Oh, 44 viewers. Yay. Okay. So those are pretty much my sales and stuff for the week. Better than last week, at least. I had some sales on both platforms. My profits weren't as much, but eh. um, again, if you've been following me for a while, you know that this is a part-time income for me. Uh, my husband is the main, he's the one that pays the bills. I have to remind the kids of that because they always say they want to do what I do when they grow up. And then I just have to remind them, well, mommy, what mommy does doesn't pay all the bills right now. So, but I mean, it feels good to know like, well, if we had to ramp it up, we could make it happen. But so my, yeah, anyway, luckily that's, that's where I stand. So hi, Joni, how's it going? Okay. So those are my sales and stuff. And I was going to go through some of the things I normally talk about on Sunday. I didn't do my Sunday show yesterday because it's been spring break all week. <laughs> And the school district planned it out just right. So spring break hit the week there was, you know, spring forward. So the sleep is all messed up from that. And there was a full moon this week. And I am a believer in the full moon making people act wonky. So it was just a weird week. And then my sister was here for part of the week. And that was really fun. So yesterday I was just beat. My sister left and the kid. Ugh, oh. So I didn't get to do my weekly show. So let me go through some of the things that I normally talk about there. And again, hello, everybody in the chat. I, yes, okay. So, okay, so sales are slow, and I'm hearing that from a lot of other people as well. Um, I have been listing again. Yesterday, I hit it really hard. Today, I haven't listed anything, but I literally, from the moment I dropped the kids off at school until about 12.30, about an hour ago, I was working on taxes. It is that time, and it was it's been painful. <laughs> and then I was tearing the house apart because my husband's like W2, he said he brought it home and left it on the counter. I couldn't find it. So I was going nuts looking everywhere. I was like, oh my gosh, he's going to go, you know, ape that I've lost his W2. So finally, after I've torn the house apart looking for it, I finally just texted him and said, can you please look in your bag and see if it's there? And sure enough, it was. Oh, so I got, you know, pretty much everything I could get done. And then I, I have a CPA. I'm going to take all my stuff over there and hopefully that'll um, be okay and it'll just be done. You know, I went through all this stuff from last. Nobody wants to talk about taxes. Come on. All right. So, um, and then a couple weekends ago, we had our Gulf Coast reseller meetup. That was really fun. I actually ran into Mida yesterday, wait, yesterday, Saturday, when I was out garage selling with my sister. Oh, I need to get that ride along edited. My sister and I did a ride along. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. 
Um, and then let's see what else is in my notes. Let's see. Tracy says still not approved for merch. Yeah, it'll show up. if you log in, it'll show that you're in. Yeah. Randy still isn't either. So yeah. So what you selling says slow sales equals creative selling. This is true. Yep. Oh, thanks, Chelsea. It's so funny watching you and your sister. My sister is so funny. Yeah. So, um, and then this week in International League of Thrifters, we're on our second week. Tomorrow's the, um, we, we've got a running list. We're doing shop reviews. And it's been, re we had our first one last week and it went really well. So I think not only does it help the person that is, you know, showing their shop and having people come give them tips and things to do, it also, like, if you're watching that, from the outside, it's not maybe it's not your shop, but maybe you recognize some of the things that you're doing are the same as what that person's doing. You can still get those tips and tricks and things. So it's been really good, and we set up some firm ground rules, you know, about how to give constructive criticism, like how to word it. I had to put that in there, like don't say I can't believe you're doing this. You might word it like such and such. Have you thought of blah 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 blah? You know, or you might try. Da, 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 right just uh yeah precious bunny says can't wait to see you wear your crazy cat lady sweater so funny yeah my sister wants to make me a crazy cat lady outfit for garage sailing <laughs> we'll see how that goes hey l smith and frugal funny fam i'm <laughs> okay okay so i'm looking through my list okay so this week on youtube might be a little bit off. Um, today's the sales update. Tomorrow, Nick and I are getting together again to talk about, we, we got together a few weeks back talking about the isolation and depression and things like that. Things I've normally hit on my Sunday show as well. I, I kind of talk a little bit, talking points on different things. Well, he and I are going to talk again um, on Tuesday, tomorrow. I'll have to double check the time. It's right after he does the tat chat with Zaheer, so it'll be right after that, but I think it's going to be on my channel. Again, I have to talk to Nick, and we, we're just going to kind of wing it. I mean, talk about stuff. We got really in-depth, I think, last time, and uh, just loosened up a bit, so I think this time it'll be a little bit easier, but we had so many, so many people say how much it helped, and just to hear other people talking about it um, was important to them and so many people just yeah I, I can't even I mean not just on the video but I I probably got almost a dozen emails and private messages from people who just said wow you know this has really helped me or you know watching you and Nick talk uh, anyway so it, it's been really humbling and so we decided we would go ahead and do another one and if you knew, he and I have been talking about it for a while beforehand. And just, we, we were both like, let's do it, you know. And he was like, I don't know, maybe not, you know. And we finally just said, go for it. And we did. And so I'm so glad that we did. Um, anyway, so hey, come hang out with us tomorrow. I think it's going to be one or two central my time. I'll, I'll, I'll get it set up after this. I'll talk to him and get the link and all that. And then Wednesday, I'm going to have an unboxing. I've got a few unboxings again, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, for a few things. One, okay, remember when I did the glasses review and, and they had the free um, glasses link where, where you could go get a free pair of prescription glasses? I had so many people go, even my sister. My sister's really bad vision. And so her glasses cost her over 300, 400 bucks in that range to get her prescription glasses. And she was able to go now because her prescription was so bad, she didn't get free glasses, but they were only $50. So, but for me and like my prescription is not that bad, you know, free glasses, you just pay the shipping, which is, I don't know, eight bucks or something like that. So anyway, the lady at, from Vermoom messaged me again. It's like, Hey, you want to do it again? I'm like, I just did a video for, you know, I just did a video review. You know, I said, well, do you have another free offer? I'll do it as long as there's like a free code for people to get free glasses again. And so she was like, oh yeah, yeah, here. So I've got another pair of glasses to show you guys. And then we're going to have a code where if you, and uh, I had so many people get glasses last time. I'm just hoping that, you know, if you didn't, you go do it because Randy didn't. I couldn't believe it. I was like, Rand, come on. 
you need new glasses. He wanted to go get his prescription checked again, but I said, just get the glasses, you know, so you have the ones for now and get those, you know, cause he works on the computer all the time. I said, and you can get the filter, you know, to where it doesn't, you know, the eye fatigue or whatever from working on the computers. I can't think of what it's called. It's not blue blocker. It's something else. But yeah, so I was like, okay, I told the lady, I'll do it. Yeah, if it's, if we can get free glasses for people, sure. And a friend of mine actually got glasses for her kids. So, hey, I'm all for that if people are getting free stuff. So that's coming. I'm also doing an unboxing of Owl Crate Jr. I'm so excited about this because it's like book book related stuff and like for kids. So, you know, I had the choice between the regular Owl Crate for grownups or for the kids. I'm like, Meh. I like juvenile fiction a lot more than adult fiction, so let's do that one. So that's coming. What else? Oh my gosh, you guys. And I did a, yesterday, <laughs> I did my um, Sephora play and um, Ipsy unboxing. Wait, wait. I got to show you. So I'm in the middle of it. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm texting my friends because it was bad. It was, I don't know if I can find the pictures. There was this hairspray stuff that, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. And the brand is called Living Proof. And I, I was like, this is what my hair looked like after putting it in there. And so I was like, I'm Living Proof. Yeah, I uh, know. So it was really bad. So we'll see. That might be the thumbnail. We'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, so that was fun. What else? I'm looking over here at my pile. And then Carly sent me a bracelet. She was going to sell. This is Carly's channel, The Poetry of Nice. Look at her card. Isn't it cute? So here it is. Thank you for being so nice. And that's her card. Isn't that awesome? I think it's awesome. Well, she got this bracelet pulled for listing it as faux ivory, but I don't think it's ivory at all. Um, my main reason, am I talking too fast? I just realized I'm just plowing through stuff. My main reason is the chain they put it on. Pardon me. I think if it was real ivory, that it would be on a nicer chain and it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's not, it's more lightweight than I would expect ivory really to be. Um, so I could, I, I could be wrong, but I'm going to get my mom to double check it because she knows be way better than I do. So I was going back and forth. I told her, I'll, I'll buy it from you because what if I decide to keep it for me? <laughs> but I think, I think I'll probably end up relisting it. We'll see. I'm going to talk to her again, but it's really cool. She got it at a big rummage sale. That was a cool video of her going to that big giant rummage sale. So if you don't follow, Car follow Carly, her channel is called The Poetry of Nice. Go check her out. <laughs> and <clears throat> let's see, looking in the chat. Oh gosh, the chat, I, I'm really behind now. Um, did you say boob plug? Jeff, oh my gosh, not blue. You know, like for the glasses. Okay, I really got behind in the chat. Um, I should do the glasses. I need to get my new prescription. Totally, Tracy, because I that's what I did. I, I didn't get my eyes rechecked. I just called up to my optometrist and said, I need my you know prescription. So they told me over the phone. And then you have to get like this measurement from your pupil. It's like a measurement to know where your pupils are or something like that. But then the glasses were great, you know. And then let's see. That photo of your hair for the Sephora product is awesome. Thanks, Janet. I mean, maybe I will use that as the uh, <laughs> put down the Red Bull girl. I promise I haven't had any. There's the picture one more time. <laughs> yeah. Um, is it celluloid? I don't think so, one witch lady. Okay, see, so you can see kind of the grain. Let me find one where you can kind of see grain in it. You can kind of see the grain in it. But I do really don't. My gut is telling me it's not really ivory. You can kind of see the grain there like that. Um, it might just be bone, but it's really lightweight. Unless it's, unless it is like a plastic made to look like that. Because, yeah, it's really, really, really lightweight. And I don't know if that matters, but it's, when you touch it, it's not cold. It's like room temperature. Yeah. It's... Is ivory cold when you touch it? Some things are colder when you touch them. Yeah. No, no Red Bull. I promise. Okay. So then let's see. I told you about the unboxings. And uh, I don't know if you guys saw my video with Pancake playing Fetch. I finally got that up. It was like 10 minutes long. I really had to edit that down because I didn't think anyone was going to watch my cat play Fetch for 10 minutes. But yeah. <clears throat> Monkey boy, boy win. Off topic, but Walmart in Pearland has packing tape 
one dollar wait one dollar and twelve cents a roll hey good ivory would be room temperature okay did you do your taxes i was working on those taxes yes i'm not done so have you won which lady a ton of ivory stuff okay bobby moon's bargains you just got a new follower on instagram awesome yes i am on instagram you guys texas gal treasures and let's see okay let me okay so t i mean you guys know i pulled out of amazon and i had a whole bunch of stuff recalled well i did it in two batches so i got all the first batch stuff but i haven't got a bit of the second you know when i pulled almost all of the rest of it i haven't gotten any of it i think i'm gonna have to call amazon tomorrow and just say what's going on it's it's showing like i have nothing in my inventory but not a thing has come back to me since that you know and it's been how many weeks it's been a while month at least a month so i don't know it's all going to show up at once or they've lost it that would be awesome right if they lost it and then they had to reimburse me for all of it instead of sending it back i can dream right um <laughs> And then um, as far as merch goes, I'm where I can upload five shirts a day and I'm working on some more merch videos. I have a series. I put out the first two and I have two more that are going to go in the series. So that's coming as well. So that's pretty much it. I have to pick my kids up early today, which is awesome. Right after spring break, my little one is, uh, you know, he's got a pulmonologist thing. So he's going to the pulmonologist. Gulf Winds asks, are you still doing Merchant Fulfilled? I've never done Merchant Fulfilled ever. So it's something that is up in the air. I'm, I pulled all my stuff, okay, out of Amazon because the fees, the long-term storage fees changed. It used to be more if you had multiples. And now it's, you know, even if it's a one of this and one of that, and I get it because they have people like me sending in hundreds and hundreds and thousands of items so i you know it, it was just getting it was i think my bill was going to be like 500 bucks for the long-term storage fees which i think are assessed if i'm not mistaken twice a year and i wasn't making enough money you know the things i was sending in some of them were long tail so um <clears throat> you're switching to to merchant fulfilled yeah and i'm and that's the thing i may do is that as well because i haven't I've never done Merchant Fulfilled. But then there are some things you come across, you're like, this would do really well on Amazon. So I'll have to check it out. Okay, I think that is it. If you guys have any more questions, let me know. If you're watching later, leave me a comment down below. And hopefully next week the sales will start picking up again because I am on a listing frenzy. And I feel like there was something else I was going to say to you guys. So here I am looking all around. Oh, uh, no. Okay, so yeah, hit, oh yes, thanks Bobby Moons, hit subscribe down below, and yeah, if, that's it I think. Okay, thanks so much everybody, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.